Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about refraction through convex spherical surface when the object lies in the denser medium and forming virtual image. Look at the surface APB is a side of the convex lens and where the object O from there the incident light is passing in the direction. The object is kept in the denser medium. And now the incident light is passing from the denser medium and getting refracted towards rarer medium. Here is a refracted light. You can see that. And there is a normal drawn from the center of curvature. And there you can see incident light, normal and the refracted light. So here is the angle of refraction. Here is the angle of incidence. Where O is the object, C is the center of curvature. And I is the position of the image formed virtually because here is a refracted light and it appears to be focused here to form the image. So it is a virtual image which is formed where NM is a perpendicular drawn taking that PM is very negligible distance is very close M is very close to P. And when you look at this alpha, beta and gamma these angles are also marked here. And uh, the measurements of object distance, image distance and also radius of curvature with respect to P also labeled. And all these three values are taken in the same direction within the denser medium itself. So we have written minus U, minus V, minus R. We have kept these points ready. Now when you look at this triangle NOC, where is that N, O and C, then the angle of incidence I is equal to alpha minus gamma because alpha is equal to I plus gamma. Okay, therefore this is exterior angle and hence we have written I is equal to alpha minus gamma. This is equation number 1. Similarly, we also uh, consider the triangle NIC, here I is there, NIC, therefore angle R we have to write, that is equal to beta minus gamma, this is going to be equation number 2. So, we also write here, what is alpha, beta, gamma, all these angles including I and R taken as a small angle since the rays are paraxial, therefore tan alpha is alpha, this is beta, this is gamma. So, let us write the values of these angles from the ray diagram. So, Nm, we have written Nm upon for alpha, we are taking MO, that can be written here directly as Nm upon PO from the center of the lens. We have to write since M and P are very close. And now similarly we write for tan beta. Therefore we read Mi in the denominator. That is going to be Nm upon Pi. Now similarly for tan gamma also we are writing. This is going to be Mc in the denominator. Nm upon Mc that can be written here Nm upon Pc. Therefore 1, 2, 3 the 3 equations are ready for alpha, beta and gamma. Now let us substitute these values in equation 1 and 2 and rearrange the values of i. Therefore i is equal to we are writing here for i this is alpha minus gamma therefore Nm upon Po minus Nm upon gamma that is Pc. We have written this is I. Now we can also write the same for R where R is equal to beta minus gamma. So we are writing here Nm upon Pi minus gamma is there. Therefore it is Nm upon Pc. Now the values for I and R also kept ready. Look at this formula for Snell's law. Sin I by sin R is equal to I by R. Therefore, we are going to write the ratio of refractive indices. The numerator will have the refractive index of the medium where the light gets refracted. Now in this diagram, the light gets refracted to rarer medium. So we are writing in the numerator upon here the denominator will have the refractive index from where the incident light is coming. The object is kept in the denser. So from the denser only the light is traveling. Therefore we are writing here as mu2. Now this is a formula. We can also rearrange this cross multiply and write that is 
mu 2 i which is equal to we are writing here mu 1 r this is going to be equation number 3 and this step is very very important step and this is a logic which differs from diagram to diagram for all cases of refraction. And now let us substitute I and R in equation 3. Therefore, we can write conveniently mu 2. This substitute I here Nm upon PO minus Nm upon PC which is equal to mu 1. And R is already there. You can write Nm upon PI minus Nm upon PC. This is also there. We have substituted and cancelling Nm on both sides being common taken outside. Therefore, we can write here this is mu2 upon PO minus mu2 upon PC and right hand side this is mu1 upon PI that is minus mu1 upon PC. This is very important step. Take PC on the other side since denominator is common here. Therefore, we are writing here mu 2 upon PO and bring this side here mu 1 upon PI. Take PC on the other side. Therefore, minus mu 1 upon PC and plus mu 2 from this side upon PC. Look at this whether we have substituted correctly. And this here you can substitute the values of u, v, r comfortably with the sign conventions. So let us proceed here. Mu 2 upon P O is the object distance minus u and minus mu 1 upon image distance that is also minus v with respect to the diagram. And this is going to be here. We are going to substitute this you can write already in this formula that is mu 2 minus mu 1 upon P C. Right? Okay, we can rearrange this. In this way, when we rearrange, you are going to substitute here mu2 minus mu1 upon this PC is also minus R in this equation. Therefore, how do we rearrange this? We can conveniently rearrange in this order that is mu1 upon V minus minus mu2 upon U that is equal to this is a minus sign. So, once again, when you are rearranging this, mu1 minus mu2 upon r. So, this is the final relation, okay, which relates object distance, image distance, radius of curvature and also refractive indices of two media which are used here, rarer and denser. For this condition, when light travels from denser medium and the uh, image is formed that is also virtual in the denser medium, that is this happens in convex surface. I hope you understood this question very well. Thank you for watching.